What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off happened last time, this force we've got sieging Savannah has been attacked by Native American troops. So we need to be a bit careful how we deal with this, because they've got a lot of a lot of men. So let's watch out. Always gotta be careful of the native factions. We do have fire by rank, which is good. But we've got to be careful of the reinforcing army coming in, because it could come in at a bit of a funny angle. So, I'm going to set my defences up, but I'm very much going to have them set up uh, in a way that I'm ready to completely abandon them. And obviously it's raining. Let's deploy our artillery. Let's put my regular line in the centre. Let's probably put them under, behind cavalry defences. Right, I might actually keep a unit back. Put it, put it about here. The trouble is putting it back here kind of puts it in the way. So then let's put another detachment of infantry on the flank of these guns. And then let's put these men over here. I mean, I may as well just deploy them like that and get ready to redeploy them somewhere. Rogers Rangers actually go on the left. Just put one cavalry on each flank and general in the center. And let's see what happened. Oh, nuts. Uh, pretty about those cavalry defenses. You guys get around on the flank. You guys, all right, cavalry, 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 cavalry. Scout him up. Probably. Really, this. You can probably stay how you are. These guys can likely do this. Not that I want to close too much distance with the native factions, but I do need to uh, be cognizant of the fact that we've got a whole bunch of troops coming in on our flank there. Great, so these guys are going to be slow to load and fire. Let's just speed up time a little bit. Aha! Some of them are starting to show up. Ignore the cavalry. Ooh, the chief bodyguard going to help us out. It looks like they will, actually. It looks like they're going to go straight into... Well, it looks like these weren't in a bad place after all. So long, Chief. Nice knowing you. Okay, so my cavalry. Too bad it's got sound problems. Okay, Native American warriors. You guys just load and just pour fire into them. You do as much as you can. Let's probably run my bow, my cavalry around. Just to give them a few more problems when it comes to, to making decisions. And probably keep them close to the actual main combat line where we will likely need them to do some cavalry charges. Okay, like here. We have bowmen coming around the flank, which isn't great. But the native factions, I mean, fortunately they charge my marines. There we go. If I can break both of them, that would be excellent. They're shattered, so let's get them out. Some bowmen at point blank range. So let's run you into those native warriors. Let's take these three units and pivot them around like so. Okay, so shattered, shattered, routing. Let's take these units and we can use these plus the cavalry to finish off the these bowmen. This flank over here is a bit dodge. Chief's bodyguards intercept my regiment, of course. Okay, send my cavalry after that bowman to the rear. You guys can just oh, they actually point blank fire. Delicious. 
you have no purpose, so let's... They're both shattered, so I can run you over like this. Okay. Those bowmen are broken, as are they, but let's keep chasing them down to make sure they do go away. Set those guys to chase the bowmen down, so then these men can push up. Shattered. Oh, hello, bowmen. General's been killed. Native American warriors have hit my line. Get these marines into that combat. Did these native bowmen are coming up? Right, okay. You guys over here. This cavalry can deal with that bowman. My cavalry over here. Ignore what you're doing and instead get over here bowman to the rear general take him out I need to get this cavalry over here and fired into the back of these native warriors like a laser beam it looks like what they're currently doing is gonna work it looks like they they're gonna hit my unit hit my position okay, is that is that bowman unit dead yet nearly good hit in the rear these bowmen have vanished so ch run forward to run the scottish unit into the okay, you chase them down run the scots into the combat as well line have to run to the rear there. My general has given his life but it was the life for the greater good because I couldn't allow those bowmen to uh, run roughshod over my troops. Good it looks like. Okay the reinforcements coming in. You guys form your new line. No you guys need to fight them. You guys move up to form a new line. Everyone here except the cavalry also needs to push up and form this new line. The cavalry can not do anything yet. You guys need to park up like that to fight the bowmen. This artillery that's had no job. You men load and fire okay my bowmen are actually winning against my scottish line infantry so it's got my cavalry back over there my rangers need to run these native american warriors have been routed Okay, so we've repulsed that unit of native warriors. These men need to band together to fight these native warriors. These men need to beat these bowmen quickly. Let's pour a volley into them from my Rogers Rangers. That did the trick. So the Scottish infantry here can run up. Rogers Rangers can run up. They're shattered. Run my cavalry up. These native warriors are they're unhappy. Charge these Scottish line forward because the bowmen have disappeared. Reform the line in a slightly safer position. To buy us more time. 
You men charge the native bowmen. Armed um, tribesmen, they're not as they're not scary. Go on, Rogers Rangers. Open fire. Hey, this cavalry came back. My other cavalry never left. So let's keep them on giving their giving their troops the run around. These marines are going to help out. Uh, they routed. I think they must have caught them in some kind of fire. Get these marines to hit the Native American warriors. Yeah, they're shaken and now they're wavering. The bowmen are wavering as well. Good stuff. Focus on the Native American warriors. Okay, let's form a new flank. Get this cavalry to run down here quickly. Rogers Rangers engage the chief's bodyguard. Begin to knock them off their horses. Okay, they've been dealt with. I know, keep this cavalry on the run. They've both been shattered up there, up that pond high. You guys hit the native bowmen just to make sure they are routed and just defeated and not... Just, make sure they are shattered, not just uh, running. Okay, you guys go back to shooting the chief's bodyguard. If they get into range to hit you, they will kill you. Okay, get my cavalry out of the way, because now we're going to fire our remaining master volleys into that unit of armed tribesmen. We did snipe their general. Here they come. You men reload. It's their last unit. It looks like they are naturally keen to not get shot to bits. And they're broken. Good stuff. Phew. That was a tight battle. Oh good, it did end. There's no hidden troops somewhere in the undergrowth. Well there we go. So that is... Oh okay, I'm being defended by the rem remnants of the garrison. Let's do it. Whoa, this could be a bit tricky, but then again we've oh I was about to say we've we've already fought them once. We can fight them again, we can repel them again, and then uh, Well, then we need to replenish. So let's take Okay, deploy deploy both my men. I deploy my guns rather. Really do not want to risk things now because I don't have the the numbers to withstand a major charge. Put my marines on one flank here. My Rogers Rangers with spikes. go <laughs> bombard them at range do not get close
do not engage them in hand to hand. There might still be more of them, but I'm fairly confident because they're only showing us. I'm fairly confident they're only they're showing us what they actually have. Let's speed up for time. Switch you guys to cast shot and then here we go. Lots of fire of the mounted tribal gunners. We want to try and knock out our artillery. If you guys are trying to go for my infantry, you're going to be upset. Spikes, spikes, spikes. Native garrison bowman unit over there. Start to scythe them down with canister shot as well. Come on, fight the bowman. Charge! I'll fight the general bodyguard. Even though my cavalry's in there, fire all my artillery. Although, if they want to retreat, if they want to move away, let my artillery have a clean shot. I will let. I will consider it. Looks like they do want to continue to fight. Good. There they go. The bowmen over here are still up to their tricks. Even though bowmen are quite useful at firing against infantry, uh, still not got enough mass. I think that's it. Phew. This army needs a lot of replenishment. <laughs> a lot of replenishment. Hey, but the territory's ours. Oh, nuts. Teleco uh, has been sold to the new Spaniards. That complicates our mathematics somewhat. Okay, make sure you guys keep replenishing. Make sure this reinforcing army here in Europe replenishes. Pick up some infantry here. Let's hop back to the Americas. Because these guys need a bunch of replenishment. And we also need to knock down the tribal drill grounds. So, probably have to declare our new Spain, which I don't want to do because it means we'll be at war with Spain. I don't really want to be at war with Spain yet. Can you guys leave Michigan Territory? You can! You guys can march up, we can go and... Forward! Up! Impossible, sir! We there we go. Win. That's what I was looking for. Just fight one of them, it'll draw both of them into the fight. And let's go and clear Louisiana away from our borders. Before we push down into uh, northern Louisiana Territory and take it for ourselves. I don't want to declare our war on New Spain, and there's a chance maybe I don't have to. I don't, I'm not sure if that's the territory I need to take to make the uh, 13 colonies become mines. So there's a chance I can just run around that region. Okay, my gunners can crawl up to the top of this hill and unlimber their guns. But the bulk of my other troops... going to just advance pikes at the ready cavalry all on my left general on the right trawl my guns up to the top of that hill 
this unit of line push right up this infantry here push push right up all this cavalry start to have a look at who's coming in I might even send two pikes over there Again, my guns are at the top of the hill. Let's unlimber them. But ultimately, I don't like their chances. But they are, to my mind, they are raiders on my territory. Obviously, they hit the militia that has no ability to form a square. So let's counter charge with two units of infantry, bring up this wing, like so. The militia's upset because they got shot at. some militia up here to help support that flank. This cavalry is not going to like what's about to happen to it. This infantry is about to do some terrible things to the Louisiana infantry. This colonial militia have actually done a number on their own general. I mean we've got, uh, we've got yeomanry in there, that's not the ideal result. This year we need to charge the line infantry. Smack. Just a bunch of troops right from the off. Run my cavalry this way so I can lure them towards my pikes. Run my militia past the line. Run my cavalry around there. Push these guys up to fight the colonial line. Cavalry's died. There we go. Now my regiment of horse can run around this combat that's currently massacring native troops left and right. Cavalry are involved. Let's get our militia involved in these combat. Ah! Native warriors! Okay, let's create a bit more of a normal line. You guys might have to hit the native warriors here just so that we can hold them up. Corridor Bois have come back, the Colonial Line has come back. So my cavalry just need to hold against the Colonial Line while we pick apart their weakness, which is the Militia here. And then just do a bunch of damage to them while we can for free. I might even dispatch a Yeomanry to chase them down. The Regiment of Force can chase them down. One of our militia units is very upset. Native bow auxiliary is standing toe to toe with our men. Native warriors say they're winning decisively, but I suspect that is because of their win against the militia here, against the pikes. It's likely to not be so stark. There we go. Run my carry on to run my carry on running my pikes in in a overwhelming wall of brown coats. I 
Look at the bowman. No, you can't get within range. We've got skirmish mode on. No. You want to go? Yes. And the pikemen don't care about skirmish mode. They got big pointy sticks. Native bone auxiliaries come back. Nope, cavalry, you chase down the native warrior auxiliary. Hey, there's even more of them. But this is why you have bucket loads of pikes. Because you can just go, it doesn't matter how many native troops show up, you just go, oh. More pikes for the pike guard. Whoops. <laughs> Look at the wall. There's the red coat officers are in there as well. These are bowman auxiliary, so then they don't stand up to uh, melee combat with pikes as well as their comrades. Fear not, native bowman. Okay, where's my yeomanry? Yeomanry, yeomanry. Yeomanry, chase them down. Pikes, militia. Everyone else chase down that last bow unit. Dispatch one pike unit to go fight this native bowman unit. All of you guys chased on this unit. You guys keep chasing down this regiment. Go, go, gadget spikes. They can only run away for so long. Well, you, might, you guys might knock out this native unit. I mean, there's, there's no point, actually. Yeah, it was a pike unit versus a bow unit. There's no worries about trying to actually follow what's going on. We were always going to win that. Ah, they're going to escape. Especially when my cavalry does some weird pathfinding. No! Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't close. That was a pretty good win. So we've smashed them back. Back into their territory. We can't do that, sir. We can't. We can do a bit of replenishment, but we can then push in. There's a chance that this army here which also needs replenishment. Rather than hitting the new Spain territory, they can go around like so and hit Cherokee territory and see if... I'm pretty sure it might just be Cherokee territory, Savannah, Quebec. You know, I think we might actually have it. Heroic death, Winston Holiday. Outside Savannah. Let's hit end turn because we have no money. We need, oh, we need to badly replenish. And then we're going to have to end up building a bunch of uh, buildings and stuff in on the continent of the United States to help boost our income while we recruit more men to fight in Europe. Because we have repelled the Russians previously, but that doesn't mean they won't come back. I don't want to declare on New Spain. Well, I don't want to declare on New Spain until I'm ready to actually declare war and fight in the rest of South America. If I need to take that territory to absorb the 13 colonies, then I will. But if I don't have to, then I'd, I'd rather wait. 
I can put an army in the gar I can put an army to garrison the Cherokee territory next to it anyway. So it's not as if I won't have an army ready to jump on to Teleco if they start to get a bit squirrely and I get a bit concerned and need to actually fight them. I mean, I definitely will in the long term. But yeah, right now, America, my, my, my objective is to suck as much wealth out of America as I can while I uh, support my war gains elsewhere. Okay, so you're going to get advanced irrigation. That's probably not terrible. Can't really get any more industrial buildings, so I'm going to get the Iron Master's Works just to unlock it. Unlock more tech for us. You guys probably need to suck up a bunch of money to finish replenishing. You guys don't, but here's another two units of line. And then hop over to the Americas, because we've still not spent enough money here. Our priest and their priest are probably squaring off for control over the region. Could get a fur trader, but I do want to build the magistrate. Finish replenishing these troops. That will take almost all of my money. Ready and awaiting orders. You guys can take the rest of it while pushing up into pushing into Upper Louisiana. Ready. You men can take whatever crumbs you can get to continue pushing around this territory. Our spies are on the move. Let's get them down to Lower Louisiana. There's not a lot else I can do, really. I mean, I could take this army and attack there, but I'd, I'd rather these guys be a bit more replenished. Nothing to do here. One more turn till we get utilitarianism. Yes, utilitarianism. To get to unlock Classical University, which would be pretty dope. But then it does mean for London, I want to keep an eye on Manchester and keep upgrading that. Oh, I don't like the French are sailing north with an army. I can't do anything about it. They're probably going to go for Quebec, so maybe I want to drop some troops to recruit there. Oof. Yeah, the Russians are starting to bring in a lot of men. At least I do have per, uh, Prussia as an ally to my south, which means I haven't got to worry about being attacked from everywhere. But you to spend my money wisely. Utilitarianism. Good. So let's unlock one of our universities to do that, just to, just to get the new technologies. Don't go for wedge formation, go for explosive shells. You, you carry on doing what you're doing. Pop growth is pretty important. Some good traits gained. Isaac Newton is just a beast, as we, as we expected. So I don't know where the French are. But let's assume Quebec is their target. So Henry Dayton, we might be able to just to claim the territory. Okay, let's maintain the siege for now. You guys can spend an extra 100, 100 gold trying to replenish, replenish your cavalry. You need to replenish fully before you march on the final territory. Although you might be able to hit them from both angles. We're at peace with Spain, so we could abandon, well not abandon Georgia, but leave it march on Cherokee territory with them. So let's take this force because they're pretty replenished and go and take Upper Louisiana. We can't... I don't know why the end, why the battle phase is starting to take a bit of extra time. I've not got Chrome open or anything funky that should be sucking up all my memory. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. It never used to happen. Don't know why it's happening now, so it could well just go away. Okay, deploy 
the guns. My phone just vibrated on my desk. So a core of infantry going up the centre. What a flanking brigade. Another, actually, these two units of militia, just, they're too weak to do anything. Just hunker back. These guys push the left. The left gets a pike unit. The centre gets a pike unit. The right gets a pike unit. And I've got another alarm. I've got too many alarms on my phone. And then my cavalry can be grouped together because they're a bit weak. Just always well, just run my guys up. Then my left flank. The general's bodyguard. He's put up a valiant defense against overwhelming odds. Just spin my militia around. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. To be honest, my artillery is probably not worth firing from back there because we're firing. They're all close in on a ridge here. Call in my men. Pour fire into them. Teach them what it means to declare war on the British. Which they did. We weren't even at war with them and they they declared on us. Just run a pike unit up right into their rear areas. Oi oi, Savaloy. Well, our common citizenry were never going to last too long. Some of these men might come back. Yeah, there they go. Well, there they come, rather. Oh, let's get my phone off the desk. It is buzzing away. See, they've come right back. So we're fighting low morale troops. It's just it's more annoying than anything. It's not like they're doing anything special. They're just surviving. That's why I've got my pikemen just running through targeting the general. Let's waste my cavalry on the militia just to hold them up. General knows the pikemen are coming for him. Firelock on citizenry are going down. My cavalry from all the way back here that I've not used. Native warrior auxiliary. This is why I have pikemen. Because they're the ultimate catch all here. Native pikes don't care what you're doing. Native pikes. Pike troops don't care. Pike troops will just continue to do their job. Get my cavalry in to go hit the general. There they go. Everyone just turn around and hit the general. Kill this swine. Make it part of the British Empire. Yes.
recovery. Do not do well against Pikes, matey boy. Looks like we're not going to kill the general. He's right there, though. Ah. Doesn't matter. He is now a prisoner. He may not have been killed. He is now... He might have been killed on the field, but he lost the territory. And we now own Upper Louisiana. So likely to experience a bit of raiding. Can't repair anything. We can retrain a hand for a bit, a couple of troops, but not a lot. These okay, so I might take these men at full strength and march them this way. Okay, there's some enemy troops. In Cherokee territory, they do have a full garrison. Oh, they've landed against the 13 colonies. That's not great. Because it means you might have to end up going to war with France to get them back. Which I don't mind going to war with France. So I'll end up just uh, blockading all their ports. Oh, they're trying again. Do we want to intercept? The answer is probably. Because if we don't, they'll just march more men up. And then it'll be an even bigger fight. So let's do it. And if we're lucky, we might already have a breach. Or still have a breach. Which they can just run into. And then we can shoot them to bits. Yeah, this is going to be the the way of it for the meantime while we build up our strength in the Americas. And we'll build up our economy, really. That's it. That's the main thing. Good! We've got breaches. So that will... They won't spend as much time fanning about trying to get in. Actually, let's put that unit there. Fire it all off. So let's abandon the any pretense we've got of holding front walls. Let's put the first and second Royal Welsh to hold the centre. Let's put a unit inside the armoury. Let's put a unit inside the command HQ. But now we can start. We can occupy these walls on the flank. If nothing else, just to make sure they don't surprise us. There we go. So then we've got two, three, three infantry plus two Highlander warbands to respond to whatever. Good. I might actually put an infantry unit up here just in case. You may just blast that area with a canister shot. Men in the Royal Welsh will be standing their ground. But they don't have any art. Oh, they have one gun, a 12 pounder. Can't see where they where they aimed at. Is it into the centre here? Could well be. But let's speed up time a little bit, just because. Well, we've got a big, we've got a wave of Russian troops heading our way. Let's get ready to cut them down. Ooh, that's not great, hitting that building. Okay, there we go. So the first regiments of militia are advancing on one flank of the wall. A couple of regiments of foot to the rear. Cut them to ribbons. Yes, capture the wall. That's a great idea. You definitely want to capture this gate. Heaven forbid you have other ways in. Okay, here they come. So you men open up on the militia. My grenadiers are going to be that ready. You know, Cossacks has been routed. 
Here comes a unit of Cossacks. Straight through the wall, or straight through the breach, although... Okay, they're swarming us. The militia look like they're going to try and attempt to take command of this building. But now we get to see the skill of the British soldier. He just stands his ground, loads, fires, loads, fires, loads, fires. The 9th Regiment holding their position valiantly. Yep, yeah, they are trying to take over the, this building from the 35th. That's quite a large number of troops, actually, <laughs> trying to get in there. Islanders. Get into gear. Why are you guys not getting into gear? I specifically requested it. These men, yeah, they scale, they put grappling irons up, they're going to run back around. Ooh, the militia have actually got a foothold here. guys get in here. Actually you guys go over here and fight the infantry on the flank. There we go. We've got our own madmen with hatchets. So then up here they're going to be repulsed. Door's not open here, you can't get in. Good day, sir. This regiment is they're confident. There's a whole rack of British troops up here. Ready to engage these men. They really want this territory. But we're not going to let him take it, see? Okay, fire will off, fire will on. Good. Sometimes it takes a bit of a reset like that, because then these guys can do loads of damage. Oh no. Aha! They've scaled the walls on the flank, eh? Okay, so we've repelled. Oh no, we haven't. We haven't yet. There's still some. It's getting. Actually, no. We don't need to get a unit up on the wall yet. You're probably going to knock out. Well, you are going to knock out the militia. You outnumber them so significantly. Let's get these guys over here as well. Oh, that's my artillery. You guys, pick up a gun. So these men are winning slightly. Well, they're going to start pouring and firing men up here, aren't they? Let's get you guys over here now. The 5th Regiment of Foot's coming in. They've got some cavalry, they've got some infantry that's hanging around. Yeah, the 5th Regiment won't last long because they're just going to march normally into the line. Normally into the centre. Yeah, there they go. It's going to be a bloody fight against these men here. Might be able to kill their general's bodyguard if they aim their muskets properly. The 
It's a lot of men being poured into this section of the wall. Mm, regiment of foot have been pushed back. Here's a militia unit that is going to be repelled as well. Yeah, one of the units is broken. Keep on fighting. So who is it that broke? A oh, regiment of foot. Do they? Oh, they did. No, they did make it up. They're up here. Stuck. They can't climb down because the. Uh, they can't climb down because there are men climbing up. Twenty third are coming in again. Grenadiers are not having any of that, and they've repelled them. The militia have broken, trying to scale the wall. You're likely to ruin 44th day. You're running out of men. The militia are climbing up, which are a bit dodgy to, sh to, sh to uh, fight against, but they have no defence. Hopefully the 29th can push the 44th away, then I can fold these troops into fighting in the wall as well. You go stop firing, because you're just shooting into the backs of the combat up here. Another militia unit is trying to charge in, but they're going to be repelled. My Brunswick of Dragoons and my Regiment of Horse out. So they can start not, clear, not necessarily clearing up enemy formations, but attacking the artillery and some of these weaker units. And there you go, these men are going to reorientate. 27th. They've tried this before and it hasn't worked. They just don't have the morale for it. So they're making a push. Soon these men that have, that have broken are going to come back. It might be better if I run you guys here. Then you guys can blast them with cannon fire. Deploy my cavalry. They can hit the 44th, the general, the artillery. So much so, let's just get you guys in the mix right now. The regiment of horse can go after the infantry, the Brunswick of Dragoons can come after the general. Let's skewer that militiaman. They've been pushed back into the corner. There is an enemy regiment of horse over here. No, nope, ignore them. You're going off the general's bodyguard, mon frere. The bright blue coats. Huh. Expect them to kind of expect them to break pretty quick, although they are wavering now, so. I thought that was the regiment of horse they had broken back then. Just chop them up a bit more. There we go. So they're shattered. Okay, I'm going to speed up time now because they are... Ooh, there's a, there's a unit here that could do something, although they are being shot at, so over time they'll be okay. Okay, let's speed up time. Because then I can march these guys over here, knock out the artillery, knock out the cavalry, then swarm these guys over and hit the last regiment of horse. So you go for them, you go for the that's light cavalry. 
Yeah, chase down the artillery crew, just make sure they die. You guys come over here to help swamp this regiment that seems to be actually winning against my regiment of horse. There we go. Did a lot of damage there. Then let's go hit this regiment of horse. You're slowly picking off those guys. Charge in, smash. So we should win. We've got more cavalry than they do. Our, Dr our Br Brunswick Dragoons might not necessarily be as good toe to toe, but we've still got a good core of Regiment of Horse to hold them up and balance the equation somewhat. Yeah, really, I'm not at all bothered about charging these guys yet. If I can break their cavalry. Then I'll consider that a, a good state of affairs. There we go. There we go, and they've both been repelled. Well, I'm going to continue. Because I can use my cavalry to chase down these guys. Ah. Hmm. Not for long, it would appear. But there we go. That's another decisive blow against the Russians. Can't let them have too many opportunities to gather strong forces and we may as well take advantage of moments like that in order to uh, properly do some damage to them. So the first thing we want to do is probably replenish the army. They demand trade and, and seed planting drill for military actors. Yes, because I want them to do better against the Marathas. So let's... We are allies as well, so yes. Well, they're not doing so well against the Marathas. I'll have to see about giving them some technology. Hey, those guys were hidden. Surprised they didn't go for Georgia. Oh well. Keep marching on the Cherokee capital, and then eventually it won't be a problem. Yeah, Kingston keeps getting intermittently blockaded, so the focus is you replenish on your way to the Cherokee capital. I mean, those guys are fully replenished. Your orders, your Majesty. So it would take them two turns to get there. I think that's worth doing. Let's try to get a unit of auxiliary just to hold them up in case they come after us. Let's repair the magistrate finally. Let's let's repair, replenish this army this turn. Spend this money replenishing a handful of these guys. Let's take the troops out of this star fort and they can go hit the dregs of these Russians in this None church school. And then they can also get a bit of coin. Well, they can't replenish anything for that money. Can't repair the farm. Yeah, soon this army will be pretty good as a garrison of Vilnius, and then this army can march and probably hit Riga and then on to St. Petersburg, I think. It does kind of count that the Prussians don't betray me. But if they do... Uh, then I will destroy them. Check my tech. Everything should be coming along okay. The magistrate we built in Georgia. We've got a lot of roads to build. So then it, when we do take the 13 colonies, there will be a lot of... See, if we take the 13 colonies, this army will be teleported away because we're not at war with France and they can't transgress my lands. And to be honest, it's tempting. Can I march these guys out? I can to just replenish on the march anyway. If I set them to attack Louisiana, it's only two turns. I can't recruit any garrison troops here in Louisiana. It's a bit risky. Okay, let's hit end turn. Going undercover. So you want to... Oh, damn, we lost. 
<laughs> so they've taken Boston, but they can't go anywhere. So they're demanding military trade and they're going to offer me money for it. Uh, no. So this is the bit that's concerning. Is now the French have broken into 13 colonies territories. So that's why I do need to go in and kill the Cherokee quickly to see if that's the last territory. Then I can absorb their uh, 13 colony territories into mine. Then I can march one of my armies northeast, ready to go take back Boston from the French. Yeah, they have to regroup their strength because they can't. They can't handle the fighting. They've suffered so many losses. Lugals, they're looking at trying to do a counter invasion somewhere on the Maratha territory, maybe. Natural causes. Henry de Mosso, general. No! Okay, I can't, I can't have the money. I don't have the money to uh, replenish everything. Let's build the farm, and then let's hop over to the Americas. Because you guys, Henry, can push on to New Orleans. Replenishing along the way, ready to knock Louisiana out of the war. You men aren't fully replenished, but you're damn close, and then you can march up to just out of range. And then next turn, we can... Actually, I might be able to try and assassinate their chief. Got him! We knocked out their general. They will get a nearly full garrison, though, so let's not... Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Replenish that farm. Yeah, so the French looks like we knocked down all of the buildings nearest damn it here. So I'm wondering why am I Why am I at war with, with the why am I not at war with the French? Puzzles me. It really does. But yeah, I think next turn the plan will be to assault. The Cherokee, and then that should be the end of them. And the same with Louisiana as well. Okay, let's hit end turn. So right now all of our cash is being... Oh good, 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 good. Oh no, wait a minute. Are you heading up toward my territory? I don't like the look of that. But still, next turn we'll soon find out. Then our whatever scraps that we get from the 13 colonies because we don't keep all of the troops they've recruited. They Lots of them disappear. I don't know if they all do, but lots of them do. But whatever's left, we will combine and line up against Providence. Not Providence. Boston. And assault the territory and secure it for our empire. The Russians have come up again with the same army. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for another slaughter of the Russians before the walls of Vilnius. Cheers, everyone.